It'd be nice if it moved. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe soon. Maybe soon. <laughs> <laughs> we hear our lovely producer um, gagging from the sounds of us talking about the moving platform of Smashville. But getting into this game, that's right, we have the lovely Pichu, Team Aqua Pichu versus Pink Diddy. Yeah, and so I definitely, uh, out of Booty's character pool, the Pichu makes a lot of sense. Diddy famously always really struggled with like small characters. Um, so being able to just be Pichu and really weave around most of Diddy's uh, setups, it can be so nice. In addition, edge guarding Diddy may be possible with those thunder jolts and um, Oh, I forgot what you could say. Yeah, going into this game, relatively equal so far. Booty using your usual thunders or... They're thunders, right? Thunder Jolt. Thunder Jolt. Oh, as I was talking, that one F smash was enough to take the stock. And honestly, that is something that Booty has to be careful about. A hundred and one F smash enough to take um, the infamously tiny, small character, Pichu. Good nair right there. But yeah, we saw Booty earlier when Edge Guarding trying to catch a high monkey flip with Thunder. And that is going to be so strong. Wow, that actually grabbed. Kind of looked like it was going to go to the ledge. And this right here when you're Pichu is just so rough because mm. if you're not initiating, you're doing damage to yourself. But if you initiate, uh, Slingshot's going to be aware of that and be re play really smart and defensive. So. It's really tricky. You gotta kind of get oh. lucky and find that hit, and you did not. And now a two stock lead. Yeah, it seems like um, Booty is having a little bit of difficulty just trying to do Pichu things, the usual Pichu combos that we're used to seeing, or just like, and the T jolts are getting clanked sometimes by the banana, or yeah, Booty will just get hit by the bananas, and ah, oh, he fell out of that. Man. That must be heartbreaking. I'd cry. Oh no. Oh, oh, three stock 82 man. after the hit. That's a combination of Town, Rage, and Pichu being crazy light right there. And the down air. Um, no, not the down air. The down smash from Pichu and Diddy just flying or like slipping out of that. That's insane. Yeah. Definitely not Booty's game. I would not be surprised if we saw a character switch right here. Definitely. That Pichu did not look like the play. Most certainly. And I'm pretty sure Booty knows that too. Wow. I predict a Mad Knight. I think Mad Knight can be super strong um, and like he has like kind of that burst option in dash attack to punish like banana toss and uh, grab and also has the edge guard abilities to cover like the high monkey flips and the low barrels so oh. I think it'd be pretty uh, strong to pick Mega Man. Yeah. Or, not Mega Man, sorry, <laughs> Meta Knight. <laughs> Mega Man would be strong though. That is a terrible matchup for Diddy. Cloud also, um, honestly, like one back air on Cloud, and then Cloud can't recover that well, and miss a grab with Cloud, and then Diddy can instantly uh, punish. Mm -hmm. So definitely, the Meta Knight is the better option. And picking Yoshi is definitely a very smart stage choice. You know, Meta Knight has some semblance of ladder combos if you do practice them enough, and I'm sure Booty does considering. Um, been a main of this character for well over a year. Just both of them just keeping their distance. The moment that Booty um, falls from the banana is the moment that Slingshot will take any opportunity to take any um, move he can. And honestly, Diddy is like, Diddy will go up all on your face, especially if you're just standing and shielding. Diddy will throw everything they've got. Yeah, and right, we saw like two fairs coming out to just stuff the short hop space of Man Knight. Really slow, uh, really tiny short hop. Um, and it seems like Slingshot is very aware of where Booty's gonna be. It seems Booty's just opting to use so many double jumps, but that fair of Diddy is so huge and lasts a good amount of time. And now Booty doing a rob really over aggressive options, but that dash attack is gonna be a bit of some space for him. Yeah, um, Slingshot is playing so well around these platforms, going for these nares, and not nair, these fares or back airs with them, and um, it's racked up so much damage on Booty's side. Oh, Ooh, that was so fortunate. Slipped out of that. Able to get that um, for Booty, it was so fortunate. Able to get that, I believe that was like a down tilt to jab one. Oh. But a okay. simple up tilt, gonna take it with that much rage on Yoshi's. Yeah, Voodoo definitely wants to close out the stock. Um, 
something that he couldn't really do in the previous game um, before he ends up getting a lot of damage. And then, okay, there it is. There we go. Yeah, he took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say, last game we saw how much uh, Slingshot could run away with the lead. So that up B right there, really good reaction to the monkey flip and so vital. Probably one of the reasons you did pick Mega, uh, oh my God, Meta Knight <laughs> for this matchup. Yeah, and you see Booty trying to use these bananas to his advantage, and sometimes they work, but most of the time, they really don't. And, um, or it'd be Booty accidentally grabbing a banana, and instead of throwing a fair, um, it would end up being the banana. Is that going to kill? Oh, oh, man. I, um, I appreciate the attempts, because, um, Slingshot did do a low monkey flip, but it was just way too late. And, I, and now Slingshot... I was going to mention earlier, playing this game from like a, such a strong mid-range, you know, keeping with Banana, keeping in a space where you can toss it at any moment, but also to bait out any approach. Yeah. And now with a stock lead, you could just do that times 10. There's no reason for you to approach. Yeah, and that Banana is acting as such a force to be to reckon with because Booty gets too close, they're going to get hit by the Banana. They, they fly a little too close, they're going to get hit by the Banana. And it's like right there. It seems like Slingshot's got um, booty written. Oh, oh, nice! Yeah, that that is a, a gift from the heavens down for booty right there. Definitely need that when Slingshot was only at like 50%. So, good stuff. Yeah, and this is definitely doable for Meta Knight just racking up damage. But, um, Diddy is also pretty good at taking stocks. No rage right there. Gonna be able to barely live. But yeah, right here, you're going to need to get like a dash attack or dash grab soon to get some percent. Otherwise, it's going to be so easy for Slingshot to just run away with this, keeping the same game plan. Oh yeah, grabbing the banana to try to do something to his advantage, but ended up getting punished for it. I just saw um, Booty try to contest Slingshot's um, shield quite often. And it would be like a, an easy grab or some sort of punish that um, Slingshot can easily do. Oh my god, I love this song, the Fire Emblem song. But you know what? Here we are, Pool's winner semis, HO3K John numbers himself against Sonic Fiend, Sonic versus 